Are you looking for an HF antenna that's easily portable and won't cost a fortune? If so, then I've got just the thing right after this. And welcome back to the channel. Now if this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. What I've got here is the MCOM3 Portable Antenna by Chameleon Antenna. Now per the owner's manual, this antenna covers frequencies 1.8 MHz through 55 MHz continuous, including all amateur radio service bands 160 to 6 meters. It can handle 50 watts continuous duty for CW, AM, FM, RTTY, 100 watt intermittent duty cycle on SSB in digital modes. The SWR is subject to frequency and configuration, but typically is less than 2.0 to 1. Sometimes an antenna tuner or coupler may be required. The length is 73 feet and weighs about one pound. The main antenna configurations are inverted L sloping wire, which is a medium to long range antenna, the infed inverted V, which is a medium range antenna, and the horizontal infed slash NVIS, which is a short to medium range antenna. The MCOM3 consists of three main parts. You have the matching transformer, which is connected to a line winder, 73 foot long antenna wire which comes with two isolation loops one at one end a floating one and a carabiner at the other end and the 25 foot counterpoise which also has an isolation loop attached to one end three connection points on the matching transformer one is for the antenna the SO239 and the part for the counterpoise the line winder also has some holes drilled into it to help in setting up the antenna. Just use a piece of paracord and you're ready to go. I'm out here at one of the local parts testing out the MCOM3 portable antenna. According to bandconditions.com, the bands are not doing well at all today, so I'm not sure how well this is going to work, but we'll try it out anyways. I have the antenna set up in a horizontal NVIS configuration. However, one of the problems I have is I don't have a lot of height since this is a new community. The trees, one, will not support the antenna. So I'm using a structure, two of them, and the best I can get is about seven and a half to eight feet in height. And I'm gonna try an inverted V and see how well we do. Got it on a painter's pole. At the center is about 15 feet in the air, which is twice what I had before on the NVIS setup, so hopefully this will work. Well, unfortunately I wasn't able to make any contacts, but I do have high hopes for this antenna. I think it's going to work great once the bands start getting a little better as time goes on. Plus, if I can get this up to the 25 feet that's suggested in the owner's manual, I think it'll perform very well. There's a few accessories recommended by Chameleon Antenna. One is the counterpoise kit. It contains four 25-foot radials wrapped around plastic wire winders and comes with four steel tent stakes. Another is the coax cable assembly. It's 50 feet of RG58 with an integrated RFI choke. This is highly recommended accessory if you're not using an RFI choke. Please check out some of these other videos. And if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them below. And don't forget to subscribe. I greatly appreciate you taking the time to watch.